which forage is best. Let's see what these deer eat and what is driving them to eat different things. Everybody hopes we come out and we got an answer to that question. All right, so I'm here with Jacob Dykes and we did a really cool study that I want him to tell you a little bit about. So we were really interested in diet selection in white-tailed deer and what is driving them to eat different things. And Jacob did this study where we were looking at just common food plots, right? Things that people yeah. plant. You probably planted some of these things. I'm, I'm holding radishes here and we've got uh, some wheat planted and uh, a lot of different things that we tried in this experiment. But do you want to tell them a little bit about it? Absolutely, yeah. So we, uh, Marcus, you know, we, we're big time hunters and we like to keep that relationship. So, you know, we kind of set out to want to evaluate a few different forages, some of the more common food plot forages. So uh, we actually went to the co-op picked up bags of seeds just like anybody else could and we uh we planted 15 of those more popular food plot forages thinking let's evaluate these forages you know yeah. let's let's compare them so we planted them in uh same equal sized adjacent plots and uh we we designed it in a way we said okay well let's take this a little bit further let's let's see what these deer are eating yeah so in this flyover that they're looking at right Absolutely. now this is actually one of those plots yeah. we planted a whole bunch of them yeah. but the idea was that we could fence the sides of it keep deer out of it until they all got established yeah. right and then what'd you do so we took 15 common forages and planted them and thought at the end that we would know you know this is the this is the, the silver bullet here and that's not what happened they didn't select a, a certain uh, forage at all basically what's happening is they have these nutritional requirements they change over time they change between the sexes and so the nutritional requirement is actually a moving target it's a moving target on your property what, depending on what time of year it is and which individual it is even. absolutely and it's not the same as your neighbor's property right you and your buddies are arguing over what's the best forage <laughs> and you could both be yeah, right, we're or all right. Be wrong. and we're all wrong and yeah. you would be right or wrong depending on what time of year it is absolutely even. absolutely and that's that's what we found so you know, if I, if I had to give a recommendation to somebody, it's put the buffet out there. Yeah, that's kind of what we learned from this is it's dynamic. And the only way you could meet the the demands of the animals is to give them the opportunity to choose. So if you're managing food pot program, it's really important to have a diversity in that. There's not a silver bullet. No. So thanks for telling us about yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me.